All right, guys. So I, I kind of, I kind of, uh, part of me wanted to fix this. I know I could fix the metal after looking at it more. Uh, it still would be kind of painted butt, and it probably wouldn't turn out like uh, really nice looking. Uh, again, it's, it's a project beater, you know, for Project Blue. But when I, you know, looked at the extra thousand plus, you know, to put in the parts to, to make sure it was safe and fun for off-roading, um, I just couldn't justify that with this. I even, you know, double thought about it. I was like, ah, technically I have the extra money. I could do it, but do I really want to when I have these other four projects? And I also want to move on and do a RD2 build. Uh, so I want to start saving to find a clean lower mileage one probably down in florida around where my my dad's at and i want to find a five speed um you know and uh all wheel drive so that's going to be in the future and i still want to do more stuff to the rd ones i definitely want to do a lot to the prelude so i i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna have to pass on this one which sucks because it's kind of eating at me i'm like ah, oh, just fucking do it but with winter coming christmas my daughter's birthday starting a new job working with hrg um, you know, doing my other projects and, and, and also dealing with my health and my heart. I was like, you know what? It'd be easier just to get it off my plate. So with that, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you and do a walk around and then I'm going to do a part out list and I'm going to put that down below in this video, uh, on YouTube. So you guys can just reach out to me on what part you want and I'm going to put a price and, uh, we can go from there and I'm going to put this on Facebook and Instagram also. Try to do a walk around as close as possible. The bra I'm going to keep. For now, I'm going to keep. If I ever let it go, I'll let you guys know. I've had no I've had a few people asking. So if there's any people local for the bigger things, I know I have some people that uh, are in Iowa. Some people are in Sioux Falls. Some people that are in South Dakota, different areas that are closer to me. So, hey, bigger things. I'm not going to ship any of the large stuff. Um, but any people that are close to me or want to travel or if you do want to pay for the packaging, the you know protecting the packaging and pay to have it shipped off, which you got to remember that's going to be a little bit more expensive than if you can go to your local you pull it yard, but some of you guys may not have that option. Then I will go through that, but you have to understand that if you're going to do that, you get what you pay for as far as boxing, wrapping, things like that. So that's going to be something that you have to uh, decide if you're going to want to do. So I have, I have the fenders that are good. They're going up for sale. The hood has a big rust spot under the bra. If someone wants the hood, it'll be dirt cheap. If you want to come pick it up, I'm not going to charge a whole lot for that. Um, the bumper, probably going to charge 154 uh, and bolts right here. You know, the uh, crash bar. It'll bolt off and um, come right off. Um, if I don't sell it, I might end up just putting it on mine eventually. I kind of like it. Um, extra headlights, perfect for if you guys are in good shape, just need to be cleaned up. Or if you want to clean them up and do like black housings like I was going to do. The grill is in great shape. Uh, motor I'm keeping, transmission I'm keeping, drive shaft I'm keeping, transfer case, and differential if I can get the differential out with all that rust in the rear I'm keeping because uh, I'll probably be using some of that for an all-wheel drive project. Um, spindles I'm keeping. Uh, brakes aren't worth the shit. Brake calipers uh, aren't locked up, you know, so I mean, if someone around local wants some dirt cheap, I can sell them. Um, subframe in the front is not rusted if anybody's looking for that Sh uh, struts and springs are shot um what else uh ac stuff i don't know if it blows cold if you need any ac stuff it all looks like it, it, it's in good shape mirrors are good mirrors work um doors are in good shape uh other than the fading paint there's no real big dents or anything in the doors no real bad rust trims in good shape uh be perfect for some of the pop off if they want to paint and redo their trim you know roof rack is in good shape needs to be repainted but everything's there um i'll have a price up on that the antenna is in great shape actually comes right out and in i could get that out if anybody needs that um seals on the doors are not that good i wouldn't bother with buying those um, unless you absolutely have terrible ones door panels anybody wants the 99 to 2001 interior uh, that dark, you know, charcoal grayish black. This is all in good shape. I am keeping that passenger seat because it's in better shape than the one in my 2000. And it has the rails for underneath for the little cubby. Um, so I will have a full set of cloth interior for sale. Anybody local. Uh, with the, it's the EX with the bed seats that lay down. Um, I do have 
a clean steering wheel. Um, I might end up actually keeping this one and swapping it on my wife's. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'll have a steering wheel. My other one's not too bad either. It's just a little bit more chewed up up here. Um, window switches work. Um, coin pockets there. Somebody was asking about the fuse cover. Um, I have that. The um, uh, hood pull is good. The uh, tailgate latch is good. Um, all the interior is really clean, guys. So if you need anything to window switch, cruise control all works. Um, it's a little faded on the uh, hazards. Uh, the clock is dead. Uh, someone's already asking about the clock. Uh, the dash I'm probably going to keep and do something with. There's a few things. Um, I, I had blue LEDs. I was going to put in there and try to see how they look before I do a different color one with our other ones. And I need the drive light bulb. So I am going to do that. Um, the ignition piece, the ignition is good. I have a set of OEM keys. Um, what is it? Your headlight switch, your blinker switch. Uh, that's all good and great shape. The pocket down here is in great shape. The cup holder is in great shape. Uh, I mean, the interior is in, in amazing shape, actually. Um, stock stereo with the code. Uh, works great glove box. I have all of the paperwork um, If anybody's looking for if because I have most of it for mine, too. So any of the extra stuff I might keep um, But most of the OEM stuff I have uh, good airbags um, Good rear view mirror. I'm keeping the uh, The visors they're in much better shape. So they're gonna go on my 2000 um, Good dome lights. I mean the interiors I know I've said this like twice, but now the more and more I look at it, it's actually in much better shape than mine. So I may be pulling some more things off. Um, and mine's actually pretty clean. So this is pretty good. The cup holder in the middle. Um, let's go over here to the back. Good gas cap door. Um, I know some of those guys, you get dented or rusted. Um, like I said, good door again. A little bit of rust down there, but very little surface rust on the doors. Um, remember this 99 2000 has the cup holders in the rear, which I believe 97 98 do not. Um, again, EX seats. If you see right here, this little piece has popped over it because I had pulled it out, but it, they are clean seats, uh, stock OEM rear, uh, floor mat. Um, I kept the stock floor mats up front for mine cause they were missing. Uh, what else? Let's see. Of course, all the little, you know, interior pieces, uh, if you need anything, let me know. There's little pieces that cover the bolts on the um, on the uh, rear seats and stuff. Stock tail lights in good shape. Third brake lights in good shape. Glass, if anybody's close. I mean, even the real time four wheel drive sticker, all wheel drive sticker is pretty decent on there. So you can tell that the glass, the struts are good. Um, rear mount is good. If anybody, I can take that off. Uh, the rear door, I can take off the actual, you know, handle, clip, all that stuff, whatever you need, or the whole door, someone's close. Uh, rear interior pieces, I think I have the, uh, somewhere I got the barn door uh, that holds the strut, too. Um, what else? So, I got all the trim. All the trim is good. Um, it needs to be repainted, obviously, but it's all there. Stock air box, if anybody wants it, you don't want to do anything with that. Uh, the rear um, plastic covering for underneath the engine. The bar is bent, but uh, other than that, it's there. Um, the rear picnic table, I'm probably going to keep for an extra picnic table. The rear cooler inserts are in there. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. The stock exhaust, uh, stock header is good. The stock cat is good. Um, the rear trailing arms I'm going to keep because I might do plated trailing arms like uh, Jacob did. Have an extra set. All the brakes are shot pretty much. You know, like I said, other than the front calipers, I didn't see they were locked up, but I haven't pulled them fully apart. Um, trying to think. Uh, the rear subframe shot. I wouldn't bother with that if anybody asked. Passenger side fender is good. Passenger side mirror is good. Like I said, the mirrors do work, uh, fully functional. Um, the glass and the doors is good. If anybody needs that, the glass in the rear is good. The windshield shot. Wiper arms work. Um, 
Let's see here. Let's go in the engine bay. Like I said, I'm keeping the engine transmission, but I'm trying to think if there's anything that could benefit. And hit me up, guys. Let me know because I know if you're like me, I'm very, very uh, OCD with my cars, I guess you'd say, and I like to have every little piece. So if stuff's missing, it's nice sometimes that you can just find it. So the prop rod is good, you know. Prop rod uh, hook is good where it goes. Radiator is good if anybody needs a radiator. Sell that dirt cheap if you're local. Uh, stock air box, like I said, yep, on there. Uh, all motor-wise, I'll be keeping motor mounts or shot. You're not going to want those. Cruise control works. I did use that going down the road just for fun to test it out. All the fuse boxes are there, everything. Um, extra battery I put in, I'll be keeping. Uh, yeah, pretty much, I mean, power steering pump's good. Uh, AC condenser is not locked up. I don't know if it still will blow cold, you know, if uh, you refill it, if there's no leaks. But uh, it's in pretty decent shape. I would sell it dirt cheap. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, both radiator fans work stuff like that so little things if you're around here local you need or if you need to ship let me know anything else i missed um maybe i'm not aware of that you're looking for let me know uh if not i may have it sitting down here or you know around in extra parts uh but other than that and now the rack and pinion i'm pretty sure is pretty shot too it was leaking all over the place and it's probably not decent but if you want to want to rebuild sell it to you dirt cheap if you want to rebuild an oem one um other than that guys that's pretty much it uh you're not gonna want the stock springs and struts they're all fucking rusted and destroyed um gas the gas tank i wouldn't worry about if any of you guys are looking for something like that that's got a lot of rust on it yeah that's it so let me know um like i said i'm gonna put a price list on most of the parts if there's stuff i don't see then just hit me up and let me know all right guys